Hey there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In previous two videos, I have created few examples to explain break before and break after CSS property. Okay, you can visit my channel and watch those videos. And in this video, I will create an example for break inside CSS property. The break inside CSS property sets how page, column, or region break should behave inside a generated box. Okay, so there is if there is no generated box, this property will be ignored. So generally, columns are very useful when flowing and balancing the content. And sometimes not all elements flow specific in specific order. Okay, so sometimes elements get stuck between columns. So, using break inside property, we can tell the browser to keep specific elements together and do not break the content. Okay. So, let's start creating an example. Okay. So, here, let's create one on order list and there are multiple list items. Okay. So, let's give some class or yeah, we can give class list and let me add some content you can say example or demo content okay so let me try to add multiple list items okay so here we can divide this line into multiple allies okay so these are three allies. Let me copy and paste. So we can have multiple ally and we can test this CSS property. Okay. Right now there is no CSS. Okay. So first of all, let me copy this class and class. Okay. Here you can use columns. The columns width will be 150 pixel okay and column gap gap between the column let's keep it to em okay so now it will be like this okay okay now in list we have multiple allies here we can give background color white let's add some padding 1 em okay margin bottom let's say keep it one rem okay and let's see how it looks okay so now we have multiple items so let me add some more css so font family you can give this simple one okay font weight let's keep it bold okay so now we can see here yeah you can see the fourth ally one two three fourth ally is breaking here right so let me add some more content in fourth ally so we can see one two three four okay and let me copy and okay. let me add some more content okay so you can see here this fourth ally is breaking here. So, as a user, if I want to read this content, the fourth ally, I don't know how to complete this sentence. So, I have to scroll up and read this ally. Okay. So, in this case, what we can do, we can use this CSS. The class is break inside. Okay. And the value is a word. Let's see how it works. Now you can see when you use this avoid break inside avoid the fourth ally is not here anymore. It will start from second column. Okay. So let me show you. This is okay. So when you change the dimension of the screen, it will work accordingly. Okay. So in this case, we have three ally and let's remove this CSS. Then it will start 
the fourth ally will start from here okay so break inside property will make sure that user can read this ally or specific element without break so it will avoid okay so there are multiple values like auto that will be auto that won't do anything avoid column so avoid column will be same okay again let me change avoid page also not do anything so in our case the avoid will be the ideal value okay so when you use avoid you can make sure that content will break as per user's convenience so user can read it properly user don't have to scroll to finish that ally or sentence okay so uh, this is uh, another property and there are multiple variations like break inside is uh, a property that you need to use to make sure that it work on i okay for other browsers it will be page break inside the value will be same so for mozilla firefox you need to use page break inside okay and to make it work in webkit browsers you need to use webkit column break inside and the value will be over okay so this is the thing you need to keep in your mind while using the multiple browsers okay so yeah that's all for this video guys if you find this video useful please give me a like if you want to see more videos please hit the subscribe button there are more than 180 videos related to css html javascript node.js and there are multiple playlists you can look okay there are few videos on wordpress as well so please subscribe and thanks for watching this video bye